Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to bypass Nvidia Optimus. Again, if you guys want to skip to any part of this video, I will be putting timestamps on the screen right now. So with that being said, let's jump right into today's video. Okay, so what is Nvidia Optimus? So Nvidia Optimus is a technology specific to Nvidia graphics cards and gaming laptops. So the purpose of Nvidia Optimus is to give you the maximum battery life while giving balanced performance. Now if you're gaming or doing any high-end task on your laptop, you'd be needing the best possible performance for that. So what exactly happens here is, you see there's your CPU and your GPU which acts together. But in the middle of this, you have your CPU's integrated graphics. Now when Nvidia Optimus is turned on, to give you the best battery life, your integrated graphics card would start acting in the middle. Now this causes an effect known as bottleneck. When your CPU and GPU start bottlenecking, your games give less frames, which is exactly the concept behind this. Also before we jump into it, I'm going to explain what internal and advanced Optimus is. Now internal Optimus, also known as inbuilt Optimus, is when you can bypass Optimus directly from your computer itself by simply going into the control center and restarting your computer. So in certain laptops, it's advanced Optimus, which is a little bit more complex just like the name suggests. So personally, I have a laptop which has advanced Optimus, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to bypass Optimus regardless of if you have inbuilt Optimus or advanced Optimus. Now to bypass inbuilt Optimus, also known as internal Optimus, what you want to do is basically navigate into your control center specific to your motherboard. For example, Lenovo users have Lenovo Vantage, MSI users have the Utility Center, ROG and Zephyrus users, TUF users have the Armory Crate software, and there are a few other boards which I will put links in the description down below if you want to refer to. So then what you want to do is disable this following option and restart your computer and Nvidia Optimus will be disabled. Now you might want to enable Nvidia Optimus right after you stop gaming because you want to make sure your laptop doesn't lose any battery life as well. Now to simply do this, just repeat the process, instead turn it on this time and restart your computer. Now moving on to advanced Optimus, what you guys want to do here is a little bit more complex. To bypass advanced Optimus you need three different things. Firstly, you need an external monitor. Secondly, you need a Type-C to HDMI converter. Now when it comes to the Type-C to HDMI converter, there are a few things that you need to know. So the Type-C to HDMI converter that I have right now only supports up to 144Hz at 1080p and 4K at 60Hz. Now why this is important is because I have a 170Hz monitor, but you can't really push your limits to 170 because if you put 170Hz in as your display refresh rate in Windows, the output will not be displayed on the monitor as the cable or the converter only supports up to 144Hz at 1080p. To do this, for example, I have the 144Hz Type-C converter. So what you guys want to do is after you connect your monitor, you want to go into display settings, go all the way down to refresh rate and set it to 144Hz. Make sure you do it on your laptop screen as your monitor will not be displaying at this point in time. Again, like I mentioned, your converter might be 165Hz or 60Hz or whatever it is, make sure to set it to that value. Thirdly, you need an HDMI to HDMI cable. Okay, so now that we've got that done, what you guys want to do is connect one end of the HDMI cable onto the Type-C to HDMI converter. Then you want to connect the Type-C end to the back of your laptop. So I will be showing you guys how to do it right now. Okay, so once you've got that done as well, what you guys want to do is connect the other end of the HDMI cable. So you want to make sure to connect the other end of the HDMI cable onto the back of your monitor. To properly bypass advanced Optimus, you guys want to make sure you click on Windows and P on your keyboard and click on second screen only. To confirm if you guys have bypassed Nvidia Optimus properly, what you guys want to do is go into display settings, go into advanced display settings and then make sure it says connected to your graphics card. In my case, my graphics card is the RTX 3060 laptop GPU. As you guys can see, it's mentioned right there, which means Advanced Optimus is properly bypassed. Alright, so now you want to turn on your monitor, and please do not panic if you don't see anything yet. Just give it a few seconds, but if it still does not work, go onto your laptop screen and make sure you do the following. Okay, so if you do not see anything on your screen, what you guys want to do is make sure, like I mentioned, set your refresh rate so that it matches your Type-C to HDMI converter. So you want to make sure your refresh rate 
that you've set in Windows matches the refresh rate that's supported by the Type-C to HDMI converter that you're using. For me it's 144Hz at 1080p, which is exactly the settings that I've set to right here. And in some computers you want to disable any power saving modes or GPU power saving modes as a workaround for this issue. So for example right here you want to make sure you're not selecting eco mode or optimized and instead you set it to standard. At this point your monitor should start displaying an output. Anyways guys this is how we bypass Nvidia Optimus. Again please do not use your laptop on battery power if you're using Nvidia Optimus as it gives the most performance out of your computer and therefore reduces your battery life and do not be surprised if you use your computer on battery power while bypassing Nvidia Optimus because it's going to use all your battery power and as a result it's going to drain your battery much faster so do not be surprised if you get ba less battery life while bypassing Nvidia Optimus. This is because your graphics card has been utilized to its maximum potential and therefore gives you the best frames while giving you the least amount of battery life. With that being said guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you guys did, please make sure to drop a like. Comment down below if you have any queries or suggestions or anything, any issues that you might have faced during this process. Hit the subscribe button, it's free and it helps me out. And if you would like to join the VeloFam. With that being said guys, Take care, stay safe, and I will see you all in my next video. Until then, peace out.